Before we get into today's video, I'll just ask for your like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,200 subs. Thank you. All right, guys, we're taking the all shiny exclusive unit team into the hardest content in the game. Five Nights at Freddy's for uh, one to six nights, one to six. Let's go. Now this team is pretty busted, guys. We've got uh, the like the was well, not brand new, but the uh, shiny tarnished right here, the best star unit in the game. Uh, this team we've got, got, let's do a little bit of a review. Got Scott here, which is one of the best units in the game as well. We got Mango, another one of the best units in the game. Rave Demon, I think he slept on a little bit. He's not. Maybe he's not as good as he maybe he could have been, but yeah, he's still decent. And Abyssal is alright. I mean, he's a slow unit at least, so we can get some value from that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to showing off the brand new shiny Hydra Mangle, though. Uh, yeah, 1,875 DPS, um, not including the burn that the Mangle's doing, along with the amount of money we're earning here. Holy crap. This team is absolutely busted, guys. Uh, you can place three of this unit. With Puppet's Nightmare starting off at 30 range is absolutely absurd. Now we can also start getting some of these Abyssals in as well. Yeah, this, this team is a probably... really fun team, guys. Uh, team even probably... if you don't have these units shiny, like, they will still, like, this team will still cook. Look at this, we got, like, loads of dragons, basically, just fire. This is, yeah, no, this is sick. We this don't have probably... any supports, so they haven't released an exclusive support unit, guys, but, um, that shouldn't be a problem. These guys, like, Mango over here is going to be doing... Yeah. This team will probably- Oh my goodness, what's that, like nearly 4,000 DPS? Probably is more than 4,000 DPS with the um, burn as well. That is crazy, guys. I did team try and nerf it, but everyone kind of just said, no, let's keep it the way it is. Especially since they've got Goliath in the game the way it is, there's no reason to nerf this unit. Oh, guys, I, will, I, was doing some, I was doing this one easy, but I think we can step it up a notch. I think we can go straight to- I think maybe we can do like a- uh, This team will probably- maybe. Let's see. This team will probably- Look at that. That just is melting. Melted that guy's health. Alright, guys, we've stepped up the difficulty a notch. We'll have to see how these go. 18,000. We'll see if this is doable. I think this might be doable, guys. No step 4 6. I think we can maybe have a good shot of taking that on Nightmare, which is crazy. Because you start at 20,000. This team will Yeah, this team is busted for sure, for sure. Um, you can definitely. You don't even need these guys shiny, guys. So, like, if you're looking at this guy, like, oh my god, I'm shiny, so I can't build this team now. But uh, a lot of these guys didn't actually cost that many coins. Uh, uh, Scott costs 30,000. Arnish, I think it only cost 50, which is insane considering how OP it is. It's very obtainable free to play. Well, this entire team's very obtainable. Well, not the shinies, of course. Like, discount the shinies. Other than that, very obtainable free to play. This is crazy. Scott doing that amount of damage as well. This team will probably get better if we do get an exclusive that's a support unit, but I don't know how excited people will be for it. A lot of people, including myself, are thinking that Rave Demon was going to be a uh, this team support will probably... unit of some kind, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately... This he team will probably came in code. Well, you came code anyway. It's like it's a cool effect, but it's not very good. Unfortunately, it's not good enough. Unfortunately, he's not got damage numbers. This they team will probably support it. This team it's interesting because when Tarnished released, he obviously brought the um, increased uh, upgrades pass all free. This team and will probably kind of silently just added Abyssal to that, uh, which is an interesting change. How much damage is Abyssal doing right here? This team will probably uh, oh, a thousand. 300, 400 DPS was so slow. That's just pretty solid. With the range he's got as well. This team no, he's not got the best trait. Like, uh, the, the three... Two of the three best units that we have do not have good traits. Well, Puppet Nightmare's okay. I just don't have the uh, the willpower to to, to re-roll enchants like two hours to get good enchants on these guys. Hey, look at this boss just getting absolutely melted by this team. This team will probably- We haven't even got the Rave Demons out, I'm so, oh, like, I, that's disrespectful to the Rave Demon. <laughs> disrespectful to disrespectful the Rave Demon. Alright, probably... here we are. Uh, the train wheel, training wheels are kind of off with this stage, just because of how hard it is. Um, FNAF 4-3 is the most brutal stage out of all of them, I think. FNAF 4-6 is actually weirdly easy. This uh, team will probably- this. this team will probably- Just this because team will of how limited you are, uh, the, the unit spacing is really weird on this one. This team uh, will probably so yeah, this is definitely one of the harder ones for sure. This team will probably this team will probably this team will probably yeah, if we place these guys here. This team will probably this team will probably this team will probably upgrade Scott. This team will probably 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 upgrade Scott's supply. This team will probably this team will probably yeah, yeah, looks like it is. Yeah, Scott is yeah, like I know the new hotness is coming out right here, and he's definitely he's probably like Mangle's probably better than Scott, but Scott is broken. For sure, for sure. This team will how easy it was to get. It's 30 fat. Like, you can get this unit right now, guys. Like, a free-to-play player 
You grind for like less of a day. This Even team of Pog starting from complete scratch, you can get this unit so quickly. This uh, team of Pog is just worth nothing uh, on the marketplaces. So, like, yeah, you can get up like 500 souls or something. This uh, team of Pog, yeah, if you do that, your account is just so much stronger. You can actually start doing a lot of this content really easily. This team of Pog, this team of Pog, the demon over here. I mean, he's, he's solid. He's doing like what? 1,900, 800 DPS around that, roughly. This team will probably- This uh, team will probably- has got Shadow, so he has got, like, the second best trait you can give him, basically. This team will probably- cool. I do love him a lot. Um, I think he's got a new OST in-game, actually. Um, which is cool. Like, I, I really love how much kind of effort they put into this unit. This team will probably- This yeah, team will probably- just not as- Unfortunately, if a unit releases, that isn't, like, the- This like, team will probably- Three best units in the game. People don't really care. This team uh, will that's, re that's the reason why, like, luckily Mangle over here got a really cool design, and it's busted. This team will probably- it's completely broken. This team will probably- this team will probably- Maybe they even got a really cool design, but it was also, like, mid. This team will probably- mid. It is disrespectful. It's good. It's this good. team will probably- This team will probably- This team will probably- the purple guy unit coming out on Saturday is actually good. I'm- I'm hoping that he is broken. This team uh, will the sentries, like I want him to actually have really cool, um, um like I want, because he's got a really cool design, right? This team will sentries and, uh, and stuff, so I, I'm hoping that he's actually got some source in his stack. So for, this well, team will probably dead man Foxy right here. If you guys were watching the stream yesterday, you know, so this man just got completely stuck. Seems like putting slow on this guy is just a bit sad for him, he can barely move. This I team don't actually know what Abyssal slow rate is, but I, I think it might be boosted by him being shiny. This man can barely move. This team is all the way over there, and he's nearly dead before the first turn. That's crazy. This team, this, probably... this team is busted, guys. All right, here we are, four four. I'm actually not as worried about this one compared to four three. Um, it's just because of how the scaling works. Um, this well, team of scaling is just the, like the map design is just not as bad for this one. These bonnies will do 4k each, um, which is uh, the 20 health each, sorry, not 4k, otherwise we'd be dead instantly. Um, and that's not like massive problem, especially if you can get the rave demons out, they can start giving us a bunch of money. This team will probably- good. And then we can get the- This team uh, will probably- uh, Mangle out. That was a little bit close, a little bit close, but not, not even close, not even close, we're fine. Not even close, chat. Probably yeah, Scott definitely makes us team- as good as it is for the most part because uh scott is just so good early game the the radius of his hammer damage is just absurd so when you actually um get him upgraded he's just killing everything so quickly and it gives you time to upgrade everything else this team will probably uh, so scott definitely makes his team very good he said because basically scott is helping you get to the late game this team will probably placing mango then mango can just kind of take over from there because what well, well, 40.5 range, so 3,750 damage without even counting the burn. This team will probably- yeah, this unit's busted. This team will probably- this team will probably- From what I've seen, uh, well, it's obviously because of the continuous the burn ticks in this game suck. Um, basically, you do your damage and then you get one burn tick afterwards, which I think a bit, is a bit silly, but for Mangle it makes sense, because Mangle is obviously continuous by basically doing this. This team will probably- um, so he, they're applying the the D like the burn constantly, whereas something a unit like Endo Four is doing a that like a hit every one second, so it's getting one burn tick every second, which is basically just it's nothing. He hits a unit and he does one burn tick, and he hits a unit and does one burn tick. It's just not very good. That's why he does like no damage. Let's get the abyssals down. Abyssals kind of feel like an unnecessary addition, but hey, he's really cool. This one was really cool. First exclusive unit. We got a. Gotta pay our respects to Abyssal Foxy. Hell, uh, Foxy, what are you doing? What, what was that about? <laughs> the the enemy scares are really funny bugs on some of these maps. Oh, oh Christ. Okay, there was a bit, a bit of a... Oh, these poor... <laughs> oh, these Foxies. They have, like, had no coordination with a two-year-old baby. They can't go anywhere, bro. This yeah, team will cost so much money on this as well. Like, I could, I'm no max to tarnish. They're just kind of here for the start. This team will so slow as well, because the three Abyssals also hit him at once. This team will probably hold beam, doesn't seem to be happening, but hey. Okay, it could look kind of sad if you, like, if you angle it like that, it just kind of looks depressed, bro. 
What's happened to bro? Right, Steve yep. like his mouth is health is getting melted and he's being tarnished. He's doing absurd DPS for a starter and we are off to four five. Okay. Right, here we are on four five. The mean this map is very similar to the previous one except for it has another exit. So it's an exit here, an exit here. I think it also might have more entrances as well. This team are probably doing this on hard again. Nightmare is not very feasible for this team, um, just for the way it's structured, but uh, it can probably do it for it it's team do any inf that I think. I think it can get relatively far in infinite. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the shiny exclusive team against infinite. This I team will probably be an interesting uh, run, for sure. Uh, yeah, we should be... This team will probably be fine. We, may, we might be fine. We're fine. We're fine, chat. It, it, not even close. That's that's the that's the that's the key word here. Not even close. Probably, there's there's people probably... um, in my chat when I've been because I live stream here right on the YouTube channel. Join the Discord server in the comments down below if you want to see that. By the way, but yeah, no, I've been seeing some people hypothesizing that maybe we'll get evolution units one time, uh, one day, and I'm like, well, I was thinking about it, and most pretty much every tower defense game I've ever played has evolution in there somewhere, but the only problem is. I don't got... know where a lot of these units would go when you evolve them, and the problem is, guys, uh, this is a game, right? They want to make money, okay? Now, the problem is with doing evolve units is you can't really make people spend money this team probably they already own, unless you make them, like, paid evolution items, which is looked down upon quite heavily. Um, so, yeah, I don't really see them doing that, making, like, loads of effort, making a whole new model, making a whole new unit. Um, mm -hmm. this team probably... paid units... This so team will probably. Later. I'm not. I'm not sure they do that. This team will probably. This team will probably. Let prob me know in the comments down below what you think, though. Probably. Yeah, this slow effect is absolutely insane. This team will probably just getting absolutely. I mean, these guys have a lot of health. Don't get me wrong. Seventy-five thousand with the Freddies here. This team will probably be broken. This team will probably. Here we go. Tormented Fredbear with six hundred thousand health. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna kill this guy very very easily. This team will probably. Angles catch wind of him being in existence. He is about to get melted. And here's, yeah, here's some angles and kind of starting to realize that he's here. This team will uh, probably... With the burn ticks as well, yeah, no, he's, he's not going to get very far. Especially with the free abyssals slowing him down. I don't think it stacks, because otherwise this guy would just not be able to move at all. Uh, but yeah, he's already passed, but he's already below half. He might not even make it to this bit here, because he's getting the tarnish as well. This team will probably... like nearly 2,000 DPS per tarnished. Yeah, he got obliterated. Probably... Alright guys, the final frontier is here. We are at... Four or six on hard difficulty, just for the way this team's structured, I don't necessarily think it's very practical to do it on a uh, higher. Um, just the amount of health these guys start to have. Um, we don't really have support units. I think having a support unit on this team would be very good. So if we do get an exclusive support, we're definitely going to have to try this again with sister location. This team will probably... Um, actually, we might have to try the purple guy unit, you know? We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, maybe, hopefully he is really, really strong. Uh, but yeah, with Scott getting fully upgraded here, doing 7,500 damage, and then we can get the other mangles out as well. This team will probably... Um, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna be fine now. This team will probably... This team will probably... start of the fight, um, is a lot harder. Um, yeah, we just, we just need to get through at the start. Now we can get the Abyssals down as well. I think we I think this is on lock now. This team uh, will probably... Loom boys are definitely a little bit slick scary. But I do think... This team will probably um, the abyssals will slow them down just enough to where we are fine, but we'll see. This team will probably 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 Okay, they 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 one of them did get through. Uh we can get the Rave Demons out as well. This might help to This team will probably damper their health supply a little bit here. This team will probably. This team will probably. This team will probably. I think that's everything max except for tarnish seal. Well, it's getting a little bit close, guys. It's getting a little bit close for comfort, that's for sure. Um, it's these units that can kind of fade in and out, so their hitboxes aren't always there. This team um, will probably. I'm trying to think now, actually, maybe as a future improvement to this team, if I had shiny crying child, that's the only shiny exclusive I don't have. This I team think will probably. Anyway, isn't it? Because that's. These five, and I think it's just Crying Child I don't have. Is that, is it, if we only had six exclusives? This team will probably, I think we've only had six exclusives. The only one I don't own is Shiny Crying Child at the minute. Um, I could get him probably fairly easily. Um, he'd probably replace like Brave Demon to be honest. Just this team will probably, additional slow, that 40%, like 60% slow, I think was Shiny. 
Yeah, Nightmare, though, is just getting obliterated by this team. This uh, team yeah, that's fairly close, but FNAF 4, 6, hard, couldn't even stand a chance. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.